today it's all about fishless cycling. So in the last video we talked about the nitrogen cycle and what that is. If you're not sure what that is, I'll put a link to it in the description. You can go watch that video first. But in this video, we're going to talk about how to get the nitrogen cycle started so that our fish can live long, healthy lives. The first thing we're going to need is an ammonia source. For this, we're going to use fish food. I'm using pellets, but flakes are actually better. They dissolve into the water column faster and they break down faster. The second thing we're going to need is our bacteria. We're using Fritzeme 7, but there's all different types of nitrifying bacteria and pretty much all of them will work just fine. And the third thing we're going to need is our test kit. We're going to be testing for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate throughout this process. And in future videos, we'll go through exactly how to use each one of these tests so that you can be sure that you get accurate results. The last thing that I highly recommend that will make this process faster and easier is plants. You want lots of plants in your tank, preferably some fast growing ones. That's why we have some water sprite in here and some parrot's feather. Plants absorb ammonia just like nitrifying bacteria does and they usually come with bacteria already on them as they've been in tanks that were cycled previously. So the best way to do this is to set up your tank with a good amount of live plants in them without fish. You're gonna set it up similar to this, whatever design you wanna do, and then we're gonna add our ammonia source. For this, I'm gonna take some pellets or some flakes out of my container, and I'm gonna just put them right in the tank. Just put them all over. Just let them sink, let them dissolve, and let them start to create an ammonia source in that tank. The next thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to add our bacteria. Most bottles, the directions will tell you to just pour the whole bottle into the tank, but I've found that the bacteria multiply much faster if you spread it out over a week. So for this bottle, I would put about four capfuls of this bacteria into the tank every day for the first week. Now this is where our test kit comes in. After about two to three days, I'm gonna do my first two tests on this tank. I'm gonna test for ammonia and I'm gonna test for nitrite. At this point, I should be able to register some ammonia in these tests. And after about a week of dosing bacteria every day and testing, I should start to register nitrite on my test and then I know the first half of my cycle has begun. I'm not gonna add fish yet because I'm still waiting for the second half of bacteria to show up. Now by the second week, as long as I'm still dosing bacteria, I should also be registering nitrate at this point. But don't get excited, my cycle is not stable yet. This is just the beginning. Once my tank has registered nitrate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more fish food to give it another dose of ammonia so that more bacteria can grow. Now by the end of the third week, my ammonia and my nitrite should be completely gone and I should just be registering nitrate. At this point, I can add one fish because again, my cycle is still young. I don't wanna overload it too much by adding a ton of fish. So in the beginning, I'm just gonna add one, maybe two fish, two small fish at the most. And by the end of that fourth week, that's when I can start adding more and more fish over time. Remember, you don't wanna put a ton of fish in all at once and overload the cycle. You wanna do this gradually over a period of time. So I like to wait about a full month just to be sure that everything's working properly. And then I'll do a 50% water change. And that's when I can start adding fish. So give us a like and a subscribe if you like this video and we'll see you in the next one.